Right, hello everybody. I'm out tonight doing a different type of camping. Yeah, I'm camping in a tent, but in something a little bit different than a standard tent. For me, I'm really looking forward to trying this and just giving it a go. It's something completely different. Now I'll turn the camera around and I'll let you see it. Let's look at the grin. And if you subscribe to my channel, you know at the weekend I did upload a video looking at the Czech Republic ration pack. So tonight, we're going to eat that and see exactly what it's like. So this is the thing that I'm talking about. It's a bike tent. You attach it to your push bike. <laughs> and then you simple cycle along with it like that. I mean, when you do come to use it, it all pops up without it falling over. It all pops up and then you can use it as somewhere to sleep. But for me, I'm recamping it tonight, not attached to a push bike. So I've quit trying to pull it down. It's just too awkward to keep it balanced. So, yeah, it would be a lot better attached to a push bike like it's meant for. I had a great idea. Oh, I'll attach the pole and just drag it along. It's taking too long. It's like trying to teach a young kid to ride a bike. So much hard work. I just thought, you know what? Forget that. Just pick it up and walk with it. It'll be a lot better on your bike. But I will give it a go once I get the back wheel mended. <sighs> not really heavy anyway. <laughs> it's got wheels and I'm carrying it. <laughs> Completely the wrong idea Daniel. <laughs> Never mind. Camping's supposed to be fun, not too serious. Just remember that one eh? Let's walk the wheels. <laughs> there we go all the signs heading in the right direction now beautiful spring then into summer Welcome to my home for the night. <laughs> it's something different in it really. You know, not like the original tents, hammock hot tents. It's something that's a little bit different to bring to the channel. And if it does start raining, you've got an, uh, a waterproof cover here where you just pull over and it just attaches to each side of the framework at the bottom. It's got a mesh door here. So if it's a warm night, just have this mesh open and lift the top part. I'm looking forward to trying this because it's actually, like I've said a few times, something different for me to use. Right, so a quick run through. You have two sets of poles, goes all the way over. 
and attaches to the other side and same again there that helps give the harshness of your little tent and then this is what that outer connects to the main pole of the bike tent you've still got your wheels there so you do have four ways of entrance one two and same again other end three and then that side there four what I like about it as well is inside the bottom is quite hard well not quite hard but it's not just this material stuff so you can feel any framework I don't think you know any of the framework anywhere you're a little bit here aren't you but inside like I say you've got a little bit of padding like that one thing I'm not sure of it's these seems to be two of them one here and one at the other side there you've got some generous pockets at one side down here see at top and same again at the other side there seems to be two vents a large vent and then a smaller vent on top yeah same on this one here you know what it's just a bit of fun that's all I can say camping don't have to be so serious as long as you have a, a good idea of what you're doing you can have a good time and be happy as well that's one thing what a lot of people like about my channel I get a lot of comments people saying it's down to earth it's natural and I make you feel like you're part of the video with me here camping now, there's quite a few thousand people that watch my videos and I don't want you all in here with me tonight okay <laughs> this is just for me you all can sleep in your own beds elsewhere yeah I've been getting a, a decent number of subscribers again it's on the build again so thank you if you're one of them people who are subscribing to my channel who have been subscribed for a long time as well the whole point of me doing this is to show you what I get up to and enjoying what I do and hoping you know I can grow a dillion a dillion a dillion a brilliant following base so all the new subscribers just thank you very much and if you like liking all this stuff and you want to whack that subscribe button you're more than welcome so I'm just going to show you this ration pack in case you're new to the channel over the last few days right so this is a ration pack you get some heaters here you pour uh, water into the bottom of them and they heat your food if you put your food inside so I've written on the back chicken and paprika with rice mixed veg that's what Google Translate said it is baked beans with pork sausages I take it baked beans with pork I'm gonna say it's sausages then we get a little tin of tuna fish we get these lightweight crispy bread things and then some liver paste right on back and then we get like some chocolates some drinks tea and coffee in there and some jam so this ration pack is going to last me the whole time when I'm out camping tonight and into tomorrow it's the only thing I've got to eat the coffee and stuff like that that's what I'm going to be having to drink so I'm going to have a, a little snack of chocolate mm. yeah this one tastes like the Lidl's cheap chocolate here's what it is isn't it it's crazy for me to know but I've got a ration the ration pack out all night it's only I think 4 o'clock it says it's a 24 hour ration pack but I don't know if that's going to last me 24 hours just go with flow don't we if I eat it all in a couple of hours then it's all gone Right, so my setup tonight is pretty simple. If you follow up my channel, 
I'm back out using the Unigear air mat. This is my OEX 900 down sleeping bag, a sleeping bag liner, and the blue thing there is my pillow. I don't know what this is for. This is really starting just to get it wear a little bit. Maybe it's something I might have to have a look at. And next time round I use it, I'll let you know. But yeah, the Unigear air mat, really, really comfortable. It lifts up in the centre here, so it protects your hips. So if you're someone who sleeps on your sides, this is a really comfortable side sleeping air mat for you. I'll share a link in the description if you want to check it out. I highly recommend this a lot if you're a side sleeper. Right, so I hope you can see the uh, camera, right? Well, what I'm showing you. This is a little tripod, and what I need to do is undo this chain of that, wrap it around my finger, attach these here. So I've got to put three of these ones, what I've got threaded at each side, into it, like so, when it starts going in. I don't want to go in there. There we go, that's probably the right side. And then you add another section to it. It just gives you a lift from your fire. So like that there. So you can hang a pot over your fire, warm your water for a nice drink. Right, I can get my little fire going, because I really want to start boiling some water. So I can get some of this ration pack eaten, because I am getting hungry. I feel like I've decided to not make the jump to start eating for some reason. I feel like I need to make it last, but I don't want to starve myself trying to make it last. If that makes any sense. Now is I'm going to fill my uh, water up. I do want to heat some of the ration pack meal. So I'm getting hungry. Right, so first of all, I've just tested the pot as it you know sits within the water. But I don't want to waste the heating of the water too much. So I'm going to get the chicken and paprika. And we're going to put that in the pot itself and then we're going to put the rice in as well uh, sorry not rice vegetables but I do need to pour a little bit of that water out some out, stick lid back on, get that back over the heat of the fire and it'll boil my water very nicely. Well, I think that is going to boil the water pretty quick. But in the meantime, I'm going to take a look at some of these crackers and we'll have a taste of some of this liver paste as well. Let's have a taste of some of these. Eh? To be fair, like eating posh cardboard. <laughs> posh cardboard. Liver paste. Let's have a look at some of this. Gotta be careful it don't break the biscuit or cracker or whatever you want to call it.
Mm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not over keen on the paste stuff. Liver paste. But at the moment, because I'm hungry, I'm going to eat it. Now, if I just open this on the camera, I would have tasted it and gone, I don't like that. Well, that's what I said in the previous video to this, because I've got to eat this, it's all I've got to eat. I feel like, not like I have to do, but this is what I need to do. You two chatting about chocolate, chocolate beards and chili, chocolate beards and chili. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in some kind of honour like that. And plenty of wood for the fire. You know, I've got to go back to the car. We've got something I need to get. Oh, that's a pain. Go back to the car now. The fire's going all right. There's shelter in the background. I'm still quite excited about trying that. Right, so I've just been rummaging through the ration pack. I didn't realise there's no tea or coffee whitener. So all my drinks are gonna have to be black tea or black coffee. I didn't realise that. Yeah well won't hurt me for one night, will it? Right, so I've got my Wild Camping International nestings, or mestings, I've been told a million times on my channel and I still get it wrong. Nest, because you nest them together, or mess, because they're just there to mess them. Whichever way around it goes. <laughs> Many times people have told me the way it goes. Stack them so the nest tins. Oh, I don't bloody know. Anyway, let's look at the what did I say this was? Chicken paprika. It's got pasta in it, lumps of chicken. Oh, nice and warm. When here we've got us veg. Oh yeah, I'm not sure I want to put all the juice in this way because there seems to be a lot of juice. I've poured some of the juice out. There we go. So we have peas, carrots, sweet corn and then the chicken part of the dinner there. And then we can make a, a warm coffee out of the water that we boiled. Time to give it a try. Tastes like the the veg have got like a strong vinegar, vinegary taste. Hmm. I don't know. That chicken is quite nice. I 
I'm enjoying this already. It just tastes, you know, quite nice. It just tastes like a meal, to be truthful. Like I was saying earlier, I don't really have the choice to think, ooh, I don't like that because it's all I've got to eat. So I've got to eat it even if I don't like it, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I'm not too over keen on the vinegar taste of the vegetables, but the rest of it, the chicken meal tastes pretty decent. Mm. Right, I'll bring you back in a bit. So I just opened a tin of tuna, and it's not like the tuna we get over here in the UK. It's like mush, mushy tuna. Yeah, I don't, just open it's put me off of it really. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. That's not good tuna, that. That is horrible, that. Not some tuna, Dan. Oh, you can't have it, can it's you? It's not no John West, is it? <laughs> it's like it's been mushed up, then grinded with bones in it. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> not convincing me to eat meat ever again, pal. That's something in the ration pack I don't like. <laughs> I've been making my way through these dry crackers, whatever you call them, crisp breads. I'm sure you could have started a campfire with these. Yeah, I'm not a big lover of that tuna. Look. In sunflower oil. I don't know. At least I found something that I don't like and I can't eat. Made in Spain. <sighs> Never mind. So it's almost one o'clock in the morning. Been doing a lot of chatting away and just talking. Normal things what people talk around campfires really. I'm still making my way through the ration pack. I've a lot of crumbs out now. Yeah. yeah, still keep making my way through these posh cardboard biscuits. But, what do I think of this bike tent? I'm inside it. Enough room for me to move around in if I just want to sit up a little bit, like so. It's not too bad. Decent room. I think we only know what the condensation is like within them in the morning time. So I'm going to get off to sleep and I'll bring you back in the morning and we'll try the breakfast. Sausage and pork or beans and pork sausage, something like that anyway, innit? Yeah, we'll give that a go.
many coffees did I make last night? Just one. That been tea. Have you got a spare coffee? Yeah, I've got loads of them. <laughs> Go to that one. Yeah, please, I thought this gives you like four different coffees. Just while well, my breakfast is heating up, I thought I'd have some of this blueberry jam. One of these crispy, whatever you want to call them. All this is like is, you know, very lightly toasting your bread, sticking some jam on it and eating that. Yep, I know it's not all out of the ration pack, but I thought I had more coffees than I did. I must have had two of them last night. But I'm sure if you're in the army or somewhere like that and your friends have got spare coffees, I'm sure you'll borrow one of theirs. Right, let's get the dinner. Oh, well not dinner, the breakfast out, should I say. That's nice and warm. I'm sure it said baked beans when I scanned it. It's green beans. When I scanned this, I'm sure it said baked beans with pork. And it's green beans. So it's not much of a breakfast, is it? I was expecting the baked beans, sausages, you know that's what I'm expecting. <laughs> I've got an evening meal. <laughs> <laughs> The pork's alright, it's neither a sausage or all else, but I'm sure that said baked beans. I'm just going to read Google Translators and get back to you. So I don't know how well you can see it. What if I screenshot this, right? And then open it up to show you. Give us a second. Yeah, open it up. Anyway, there you go, you should see it there. Baked beans with pork, so I thought that's what it was. But then underneath it goes, bean pods, 37%, pork, 18%. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just the joys of these ration packs, isn't it? This is other countries as well, you know, they might call their stuff different to us. But to me, that's not a baked bean. I think all them cracker things with jams, they're definitely your breakfast. This is probably your second meal. What matters? It's food and it's warm. So the bike tent, a little bit of condensation, I expected that. I think it's something I'm gonna have to use a couple of times before I do give my honest thoughts about it. I'm gonna have to attach it to my bike, give that a go as well. I don't just wanna use it once and say, oh, it's brilliant because I wanna use it in different areas. Like I said, the bike's the main thing I wanna use it with, but comfortable it was all right you will need an insulated mat underneath you just to block out the cold coming up so i was feeling that a lot through the night the ration pack it was all right no way 24 hours it's just the way it goes anyway isn't it i'm gonna get off now anyway thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it if you did you can hit here by subscribing to my channel i'll let youtube recommend the video there to you 
but we're experiencing this and it's been good testing the ration pack. Thanks for watching.